The S-125 system uses large two-stage solid propellant missiles that use radio command guidance. The second stage with its large rectangular wings acts as a booster and the first stage has a sustainer engine. A blast fragmentation warhead with Doppler radar fuse is mounted in the nose. The missiles are launched from fixed two or four round launchers and are transported on 6x6 trucks. The launchers and various associated radar systems are road mobile. A battery is normally deployed in a hand-shaped pattern with the four launchers making up the fingers, the thumb being the acquisition radar and the palm being the fire control radar. The SNR-125 Fire control radar that is unique to the S-125 system provides tracking and radio command guidance. The acquisition radar is usually a P-19 radar combined with a PRV-11 height finding radar. The missile system is capable of engaging targets in severe jamming environments and can operate independently or integrated into an air defense grouping. S-125 Russian upgrade package for static S-125 units with improved radar, digital components, optical guidance, IFF, and longer range missiles. Russian upgrade package with improved mobility and interception that. New two round launchers are mounted on a 6x6 KMAs truck. The much improved SNR-125 radar can track 16 targets and is mounted on a truck. The Pakora 2 has the ability to intercept cruise missiles and UAVs. The ADMS can simultaneously strike up to two targets at a speed of 900 meters. The system has a maximum firing range of 35.4 kilometers and a maximum cross range of 25 kilometers. It can detect targets within the range of 100 kilometers and engage targets at altitudes ranging from 0.02 kilometers to 25 kilometers. The kill probability of the missile system is 92%. The emplacement displacement time of the missile system is 25 minutes. The jamming resistance against active barrage jams is 2,700 dollars. The SNR-125 Pulse Doppler radar provides autonomous target acquisition and tracking, as well as missile guiding. It also provides firing input data and evaluates firing results. It comprises of UMV-2TM antenna post and UNK-2TM control cabin. The two target channels and two missile channels of the radar ensure the engagement of either two targets with two missiles or a single target with two missiles. The air defense missile system can be additionally attached with the P-18T radar, target acquisition and target designation assets. The antenna post is installed on the special UV-6000 and 2TM automobile trailer and is equipped with command radio transmitter, radio transmitting device, antenna wav guide system, interfacing and communication instrumentation, and radio receiving devices of the target and missile sighting channels. The antenna post also features a mixed electro-optical system. EL is 2TM fitted with infrared ion, day-night channel, TV camera, and instrumentation for automatic tracking of targets and information display. The control cabin is deployed on a six-time, six-automobile chassis and includes automated workstations and high-resolution color LCD monitors for combat crew. It also houses a built-in technical control system, combat operation documenting components, functional check and training instrumentation, interfacing and communication equipment, air conditioner, and heating system. The S-1000 252TM Pecora 2TM missile system is powered by an autonomous power supply system, APS-2TM, which consists of two separate power supply units for antenna post and control cabin. The APSS UMV antenna post power supply system is used to drive antenna post, control cabin, and 45 P732 TM launchers. The APSS UNK control cabin's power supply system provides electric power supply for the control cabin during combat missions. It also supplies alternative electric power for antenna post, control cabin, and 15 P732 TM launcher. 
the S-125 has the nickname Neva in Soviet service in Pakora for export. The S-125 was one of the principal Soviet air defense systems, and large numbers have been produced. The S-125 missiles are effective against supersonic fighter aircraft and subsonic targets such as transport and bomber aircraft. The original 5B-24 missile has an effective range of 4 to 15 kilometers and altitude envelope of 100 meters to 10 kilometers. The later 5B-27 has a range of 4 to 25 kilometers and altitude envelope of 100 meters to 14 kilometers. The S-125 is more resistant to. The S-125 may use two types of launchers, a semi-mobile two-round launcher or fixed-position four-round launcher. The launchers are reloaded by the PR-14 transporter trucks. Semi-mobile twin-round launcher with blast deflector rests on X-shaped pedestal, which can be folded and fitted with wheels, allowing the launch to be towed by a 6x6 truck. It weighs 9.7 ton position and 12.7 ton the move. Fixed-position four-round launcher with engine assembly mounted behind the missiles, 